Hey everyone, it's Chancha down here, and I'm going to show you how to pick up a scorpion. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this too often, um, but there are times when you will need to kind of move them around, and this is easier than faffing around with jelly cups and tweezers and things. So what you want to do um, is, well, obviously you need a scorpion. Um, this is a Heteromita spinfer, the giant Asian scorpion, and this is my smaller um, specimen. And what you want to do is, uh, whichever hand you are strongest with, so I'm right handed, uh, you want to come in from the back of the scorpion. And what you want to do is you want to try and grab it on the um, the segment on the tail that's right before the sting. So, and what you want to do is very carefully, oops a daisy, let me just turn it around, like that. See so he's got his sting out. And there you go. It doesn't uh, cause the scorpion any harm at all. Oops. No harm will, will be caused to the scorpion. And uh, you can see that's the easy way of picking it up and you can move it around as you see fit. Oh, obviously. Oops, a daisy. Yeah. So that's how you do it with a small one. I will actually do it with the uh, large one as well, just to show you the uh, size difference. So uh, let me get the big one out, and I will continue filming. Okay then, and here is my larger H spinifer. Uh, this one is huge in comparison. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully just give him a bit of a prod just to try and get his tail up and raised. You can see that straight into defence. Um, I really... You can see perfectly here, uh, where the sting is here. It's this segment before that you want to grab, and you don't want to pinch it too hard. Um, you just want to carefully, uh, you know, take hold of it, um, just to, you know, be able to get a good grip on the actual um, the scorpion. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to come from behind thing, and again. Come in from behind, so And there you go, you can see how much bigger this one is. So this is the uh, the same species. And I wouldn't advise handling these too much, they are very, uh, very defensive. And obviously you don't want to risk dropping them either, and obviously you've got the risk of getting pinched by these huge claws. And obviously you've got the, um, the sting as well. The sting isn't that bad. Uh, a sting from one of these would be like a um, like a bee sting or what you know, like a wasp, wasp sting. Um, so it's not too bad. It would be uncomfortable if you were to get stung, but it wouldn't kill you. <laughs> um, to be honest, I'd much rather um, get stung by one of these than bit by one of my tarantulas. Definitely. Um, and you can see he's he's calmed down. Seems quite relaxed lowered his tail so he's not too uh you know he doesn't feel threatened anymore uh claws are closed they're not alert so that's um that's good that's what you want and you can see he's just huge in comparison to my uh my smaller one you can see if he if he was to uh, put his claws forward, um, like say when he's moving about, I also had his tail. Uh, sometimes I do it when they put their tail kind of going back. He's huge. Okay then, I'm going to put him back and let him uh, carry on doing what he was doing. I'm just going to you know, put him up here. Okay then. Let's just give him a little nudge. Oops. And there you go. Back in his enclosure.
lid on. That's it guys. That's how you uh, handle them if you need to. Though I wouldn't recommend doing it just for you know the fun of it. Um, so yeah, hopefully some of you found this video helpful. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.